Looks like these ducks need to be cleaned. How much work is it gonna take us to fix this house up? All right, Troy Kearns Real Estate Investor, bringing it to you from St. Joe, Missouri with my good buddy, Ryan Haywood, and also a great wholesaler. So if you're looking for deals, we'll put his link down there. Contact him, I'm first, just so you know. Ryan, if you screw me over. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're out here, look at this property. I haven't bought a house for him probably like six, seven months. So question for you. How much do you think this house is worth? How much is Ryan trying to sell this house to me? I want to know. We'll tell you later in the video, but let me know right now. All right, let's go for their tour. Sh show us what we're looking at here, Ryan. He's got a one bedroom with a second non-conforming bedroom. One bedroom, second non-conforming bedroom. No locks on the door. That's nice. Sometimes. We may have guests. Condition-wise. Very good. It's very good. Walls are very smooth. Floors are decent. You need electrical and plumbing. So up, that's up and around, that takes you to the, not in my spotlight. Might get a little darker. Oh. Non-conforming just means just bedroom. The bedroom just bedroom. means bedroom. Yeah. He just, it's just fancy language for bedroom. Yeah, and we could put lights for windows. Looks like we might, oh, that's good electrical, isn't it? Yeah, you could do a dormer. <laughs> that's safe. Is that safe? Let's look, at, let's look at the streets. Street scan, right, Tyler? <laughs> it looks like they took out, maybe this part doesn't. All right, so it's really secure. That's good. I always want a secure house. We like to lock our tenants in. <laughs> All right, so what I see right now is a potential three bedroom. This could be blown out as your kitchen dining right in here. This could be a bedroom right here. But this is where we talk about how we make money versus not make money. Walls are cheap to build, right? So we've got our one bedroom right here. We got, this is considered the other bedroom? I would say bedroom, living, or living bedroom. So really, is this a load bearing wall, Ryan? This is actually- An addition? Screened in front porch is what it technically is. So I would say this part, this is probably the original front of the house. Right. And then they close this in just to make extra space. Extra space. So we got a chopped up floor plan that we got to figure out how can we make this a good floor plan? Like, can we go to the kitchen from here? Cause what I would do is try to blow through this wall make that go to the kitchen and then possibly change the entrance of some way it needs to come through here. So if it comes through here, we're straight back that way. Or bring your entrance in here and right. close that off. Right. So that way you've got bedroom with your upstairs bedroom. Yeah. So you could, I mean, if you could get two bedrooms in here, is there only one, where's the bathroom? What would this ramp for Ryan? If you're a two bed, you're going to get 850, 800 to 850. You think so? This, this, so? this area? You're asking that guy that's got- Cliff has just been discounted to $799. Still in the 800. Housing, look. look, look. Housing, Nobody likes a smart, you know what? <laughs> housing on two bedrooms is 810. Okay. For properties like this, we shouldn't be going lower than what housing is going. Right, so we got, we got good cabinets. Good cabinet. All right, so here's the question. How much is a good deal on this property? If it rents for 800, what, how much work is it gonna take us to fix this house up? Your electrical, your plumbing, I'm gonna say 15 to 20,000. 25 would be like high. With HVAC? With HVAC. All right, so we're talking, let's just say $20,000. So the acquisition cost, we'd like to make 20%. It can't be more than at least $20,000. It couldn't be more than acquisition cost if it's 20 to rehab it because we want to make 20% gross, which would be $800 rent, right? Gross meaning less repairs before all that stuff hits the pocketbook. We got a fourth bedroom. Daisy chain some wire there. Could you light that place up? It's a piece of conduit right there on the side. We're in business. Good. You want to see downstairs? <laughs> Yeah, let's go down there. Remember that first foundation we looked at? Dude, that house got sold. Church, was it Church Street? No, it was uh, Church was oh, the one. Oh, that one. <laughs> Dude, I, I, was, I was not thinking of Church, but I was thinking of the, the yellow one, not Church, yeah, but I know no Church. The yellow one, Douglas. Douglas. So we possibly have a working furnace here. Yeah, were those probably are important? Just a little bit. All right, so we might need a new furnace component. Right. We got duct work. That's good. Okay, is there a water line in? Is that the proper water size for water in? That's almost what everybody in St. Joe has is half inch. What should it be? I mean, I use half inch on everything of mine. Okay. So I thought it was three quarter three usually. Three quarter, a lot of people use three quarter to a point and then half from there. Right. For me, I'm half inch in my house. I never lack for water pressure. Right. So we got a solid basement here. These are the original brick walls from, what year is this house built? 40s. 
20s brick foundation. This is the original chimney probably. They'll usually vent in the HVAC into that. So you think that this property was just probably damaged by some uh, vandals? Yeah. Here's your electric panel, which is a new panel. They just took all the stuff all out, the of it? out of it. Is that a good thing? It's not a good thing, <laughs> but you're not going to have to replace a panel. You got, you got breakers. All your breakers are here. So you just need wire. No big deal. That's actually a good thing. They already put the panel in for you, so you can put new wiring in for that. And everything is wired. Low. Yeah, so it's easy to pop it right back up. So here's 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 your shark bite. There is a shark bite, which you can get a fitting, a brass fitting, to go from here, or just freaking for what it's worth, and put PEX crimp for no more than you're gonna spend on it. That way, everything is PEX, right? Instead of PVC. Do we got what? Are, what's under these floors? Well, in the kitchen, it's plywood. I'd say probably plywood. Looks like these ducts need to be cleaned. Yeah, it's just, well, that could be a wood floor, but I'm gonna say it's probably not. And all of your outlets, like they didn't go through here and strip all those out. So you still have wiring in there. So how much should we pay for this deal? We don't know what the price is yet. Ryan hasn't told us. How much are you, how much are you mar actively marketing this property for right now? $15,000. $15,000. So what did you think it was worth? Is your comment right? Is your comment wrong? Should we pay $15,000 for it? We buy this property. It rents out for 800. It's really, as Ryan would probably tell you, this is something that I would buy, but normally don't buy. I like kind of like bigger, bigger stuff normally. But the nice thing about a smaller house is it doesn't take much time to rehab, right? And so this looks pretty clean. So we're definitely interested in it. So we're going on to the next house.